Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi, the son of Nobe. He is at your service. It's a Friday today. Uh, there are people who are calling us. They want us to relay this message to you. If you are a Zimbabwean, especially those that support the opposition or those that are still fighting for the democratization of the Zimbabwean space, or if you are interested in politics, or if you are one of those Zimbabweans that are worried by the continuing situation back home where there seems to be no lasting solution, especially to the political impasse and the economic crisis that is crippling the country or that has crippled the country since 2000, they say they are part of you and they want you to partake in their activities during the month of August. So this is an organization called the Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement. They are an organization that wants to put pressure on especially certain countries. Uh, you know that uh, in August, Zimbabwe is hosting the SATIC summit. And in that summit, uh, Zimbabwe is expected or is uh, meant to take over as the SATIC chair, which means that the Zimbabwean president, Emerson Mnangagwa, is going to chair the SATIC for the next two years. And these Zimbabwe intercessors uh, or the Zimbabwe intercessors movement, they are saying that they are worried that Zimbabwe takes over at a time when, according to them, the electoral uh, disputes have not yet been attended to. And they are saying that there is no way that Zimbabwe can move forward in its current situation unless and until there has been dialogue between they are saying, not me, between uh, ZANU-PF and former opposition leader, that is Advocate Nelson Chamisa. You cannot ask me why they chose Chamisa. It's them who did that. But they are saying that from the 1st of August going forward, they are going to be marching in some southern countries to try and put pressure uh, on them to force a dialogue between ZANU-PF, that is the party that is ruling, which is being led by President Emerson Mnangagwa, and uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa, who was the president of Triple C. You know that he jumped ship and he left the party to form what he calls the Blue Movement, which has not yet materialized, but which has shown some signs. Uh, so they want Chamisa, ZANU-PF, and other bodies like the churches and civil society to come together in what they call constructive dialogue, uh, which is going to lead to the breaking of the impasse. Uh, we don't know as yet how they're going to judge that the impasse has been broken, but maybe they are looking forward to a situation whereby the warring political parties or political divides come together maybe to form a, an agreement, maybe a power sharing agreement, which is highly unlikely, or a GNU, which is highly unlikely, or maybe a compromise of saying, okay, you, you, you have won, we give you that, but let's work together in consultation, do not uh, continue to abuse the majority that you have in parliament, don't continue to abuse opposition leaders, don't continue to abuse opposition politicians, stop the harassment of the opposition, stop the arrest of the opposition, stop the abductions of opposition political party supporters. Then they also, that is the first point, that there must be dialogue. If that cannot work, there must be a transitional authority where there is the coming together of different uh, formations to form what is called a transitional authority, which is a caretaker government, or there should be fresh elections. So the Zimbabwe intercessors movement, this is what they are saying, uh, we will leave you with a message from them. Then you are going to know how to join hands with them. If you are interested, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
like this video and share it. Dear Zimbabwe, our journey has been long and arduous. From the triumphs of independence to the dreams of a united future, we have walked this path together. But today, our nation stands at a crossroads. 2023 brought disputed elections, an economic crisis, and violations of human rights. The suffering is palpable. Our people face hyperinflation, unemployment, and the painful reality of enforced disappearances. Corruption corrodes our government, stifling development and eroding public trust. Our constitution is challenged, our liberties constrained. We see nepotism, constitutional manipulation, and the silencing of voices. But amidst the darkness, there is hope. We, the Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement, call for a transitional government. We believe this can pave the way for fresh, fair elections and the reforms our nation desperately needs. In August 2024, we will be conducting a march. We will march for justice, for peace, and for the future of Zimbabwe. Our march will be to call for meaningful dialogue between our government, advocate Nelson Chamisa, churches, civil organizations, and international stakeholders. Join us as we stand for transparency and accountability, for the sanctity of human life and the rule of law, for economic stability and constitutional integrity. Together, we can restore our nation's spirit. As a church organization, we draw inspiration from Christian principles of justice, peace, and compassion. We seek nonviolent, harmonious intervention, respect for human rights, and freedom of speech. Zimbabwe, our future is in our hands. Let us march together this August 2024, united in our faith and resolve. For a better tomorrow. For a Zimbabwe we can all be proud of.